before you do any sort of upgrades for both gateways or management servers, you need to upgrade the CPU's agent. This is normally done automatically if you have internet access. If you don't have internet access, this is something that you should do before. And you, most of the time you will actually get an error if you haven't done this. So to upgrade the CPU's agent, this is really simple. And it's described in the SK92449. So the first thing is to check the current version. And you can see the latest build in the SK. And if you want to see it on the gateway or the management station, you either you go to the Gaia portal. So if we log into the Gaia portal with uh, the web console or the web browser, I mean, you just need to do like this. And under status and action, you can see the deployment agent build. So this is 2379 and the latest version is uh, 2443 as of today. To download this file, you just click here. And sadly, you actually need an account on Checkpoint website to be able to download this. I think that Checkpoint should change that so you don't need an account. So just click download. And this is a fairly small size. It's 30 megs. So it goes fast. And if we want to upgrade this then, then we click on insta install DA or deployment agent. And we just select the TGZ file that we just downloaded. And then click install. So this can be done during full production. It has no outage whatsoever. And as I said, if you have internet access for your management station or for your gateway, this is done automatically. So we can see here now that the deployment agent has changed. Uh, I haven't um, added a real license for this box. So apparently I get some, um, some issues here. So what do we do if we don't have the Gaia portal? So for older version of VSX, like R8030, it's not supported. So, I mean, you should have the Gaia portal for all your devices. But if you want to do it in CLI for some reason, it's surely possible. And it's a bit more complicated as you need to transfer the file with the um, SCP and then you need to run CLI command. So it's it's a bit more complicated. It's not It's not really difficult. So if we log into the box itself. So uh, to check the current version, we need to do uh, show installer uh, status build. And this is not really true because this is not up to date. But if you don't have internet access or the box hasn't been on for long enough, this will be... Um, uh, misrepresented it would not show correctly so we need to first send the, um, the file itself so we need win scp and we do scp and we do 192.168.1.2 i think it was admin and update so my, my shell is not bash, so I actually need to change this. So when you did see here, I log in directly to the Clish environment instead of in the expert mode. And if I want to transfer files, I need to be in the bash environment. So we need to change the GUI for this. So I guess the easiest way to do this is just to do uh, set user and then admin. This is the username uh, at shell and then been a bash of doc the base all right so set user admin shell bin bash and then we can try again so if we do like this reconnect and now we're able to log in so we want to transfer the file it's here so upload so, a bit more steps, but it's still fairly simple. We can close this down.
And then we need to remember where we did put this. So we can do like this. So the first time we go into the, the expert mode, we actually get into our folder and I put it in our folder. So if I do LS here, we can see we have the deployment agent. And if I write PVD, I see the directory that I'm in. And then we can go back to Clish by just typing exit. And then we do installer agent install. And then we need to have the full path. So it's home admin and then uh, this paste. And this will run and you will actually be kicked out from uh, from Clish. So it would go back to expert mode, etc. Yeah. But nothing happens. It's just update. So installation is succeed, leaving Clish. So in this case, I needed to log in again. And if we go to Clish, we should be able to see uh, a new version to be, we should be able to see the new version updated. So show installer status build, and we see 2443. So that's how we upgrade the CPU agent from both the, the GUI, the guy portal, and in CLI. As you see, it's much easier to do it in the web GUI, and that's the recommended way from Checkpoint and recommended from me as well. If you want to do it in CLI, it's fully possible. You don't really need it now in the later versions, so just do it in the web UI. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.